Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show you care about in snowboarding. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the top five boards for a progressing intermediate for 2021-2022. That's right, you're a progressing intermediate level rider, and we got some boards that we want to recommend for you. So let's dive right into it. Number five, the Capita Pathfinder Camber. Basically, it's soft, it's flexible, it's got camber, it's kind of parkish, but you got a little setback on it. You can kind of do everything with it. It'd be great for those that are learning on a small Midwest hill, like 300 vertical or somewhere on the East Coast. But if they did venture west, they'd be able to progress with it. It's gonna help you lock in your edges. You're gonna be able to figure out how to load that camber profile, more so than the rocker version of it, which I think is a great beginner board. And this is just gonna be able to help you progress as a rider. It's gonna take you from probably low level intermediate to high level intermediate, and you'll be able to figure out where you need to go with your board choices from there on. Number four, the Rome Warden. I actually own this board. It's super fun for just riding around the mountain. It's got a little bit of a directional shape to it. So, you know, you can set it back, smash pow if you absolutely need to. It rails a turn like a dream. It's got that soft, forgiving flex to it, but it still has snap, which is nice. When you load that camber profile up, you're actually able to pop with it. It's basically the little brother to the Freaker, which is Renee Renacongas' pro model. And it's just a blast for going all over the mountain. I had a lot of great times on it when I had this board. And I'm obviously not a progressing intermediate level rider. I know what I'm doing, but it's a board I could get on and I was like, oh, this is solid. Like people are gonna be able to get on this and be like, oh, it's a little much for me, but I think I can make it work. And then they're gonna be able to make it work and become a better rider. And that's why I'm putting it at number four. Number three, the Solomon Craft. This is one of my personal favorite boards from Solomon. It's just so underrated. Like, you know, most people are like, oh, Sleepwalker, Huck Knife, oh, Villain. And then there's the Craft. It's for the guy that doesn't need those, but he needs a board that he's gonna be able to progress on. It's got a good camera profile for loading up, getting pop, or even driving it into a carb. The one downside is the side cut on ice. It just doesn't grip as well. But overall, it's kind of an underrated gem in my opinion. Like you can butter with it, you can smash pow with it, you can pop off a roller, you can go in the park, you can learn how to just amplify your carves and take them from being like sloppy ass skidded turns to just more dialed in and actually on edge within reason. I mean, there are limitations with this board and obviously on ice, uh, it's gonna teach you how to be light on your edges, which is absolutely a skill that most of you that are progressing need to learn. So that's why I'm putting this at number three. Number two, the Yes Dicey. This is the old jackpot with the cam rocker profile in it. I love that profile because you still get that load and snap of camber and you can drive into that board when you're just like hammering around mellow ass turns, but it's still playful in the tip and the tails for buttering, pressing, doing whatever you need to do in the park. It's one of those boards that like you get on and you're like, okay, this is very predictable. I know how this is gonna ride and it doesn't surprise you, but you can push it to the limit and know that you can go further with it as you're progressing. Honorable mentions, all great options, but just barely didn't crack the top five. The Nitro SMP, the LibTech Terrain Wrecker, the Jones Frontier. As I said, all great options, but just barely didn't crack the top five of this list. And the number one snowboard for the progressing intermediate is the K2 Raygun. Now, I recommend this board for beginners because they're like, I don't want a board that I'm gonna outgrow right away. And that's why I recommend the Raygun. Not the Raygun Pop. If you want camber, go with the Raygun Pop. But I think the regular Raygun with its flat to rocker profile is super solid. It lets you just go out and learn and push it further than you need to, but it doesn't hold you back. It's good in pow, it's good on a groomer, you can take it in the park. It's just a good all around board. Every time that I'm like doing something and K2 boards are there and I'm like, I need a board that I know how it's gonna ride, I always grab this board because I know what it's gonna do. It's predictable. It's a board that you get on and you're like, hey, cool, I'm gonna go have fun with this. It's not the best, it's not the worst, but you know what you're gonna get with it. And that's why I think it's solid for a progressing intermediate. You're gonna be able to get on it, know what you got, there's no learning curve, but you're gonna be able to push it. And when you push it past, you're gonna find yourself going, hey, okay, maybe I need to upgrade to something else. 
This has been my top five list of snowboards for 2021, 2022 for progressing intermediate riders. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did I forget one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this list. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not going to miss any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further so we can make awesome content for you, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and well, I'm going to just keep continuing because no one's taking this job from me, and I'll see you in another video. Thank mm -hmm. you.